Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing these acoustic panels from GIK Acoustics called the 424 uh, Absorption Panels. I'm going to go through everything from uh, initial talking to the company to ordering through to installation uh, and to the final result. So, I moved into this new studio uh, only a few weeks ago. Um, never really had a problem with acoustics in, in my previous room. It was a bit smaller. Um, I had a big uh, a curtain across one wall. There was loads of stuff crammed into it. Um, and I never really had any problems with like um, like echo or like reverb. Um, so if I clapped in my previous room, it was, it was really nice and dead. It was no problems. Never thought about um, acoustic treatment. Moved into this room uh, and as soon as I got in there, I, I just really noticed that if I clapped, there was a big load of reverb um, and it just sounded terrible. Speakers sounded horrible. Uh, and then recording videos like this, um, you could just hear reflections off the wall. So it wasn't great. I hadn't budgeted any money for acoustic treatment, uh, which was my mistake. Uh, didn't really realize, never really thought anything about it. Um, so I thought, okay, right, let's start Googling it. Looked at lots of different companies um, and different products from like little phone panels, but I wanted something that looked nice. Came across GIK Acoustics um, and they just seemed like the best value for money uh, for the products. They have a great website that's really easy to navigate uh, and you can see all the different panels in the different sizes with the different fabrics and the different fascia boards. Uh, you can look at all the different alpha series and impression series and then try out the different uh, wooden frames that go over the front, checking out all the different colors. It's a really comprehensive website to use. It's easy to select the exact panels you want, different sizes, color options, uh, and really easy to order and put everything on there, including any accessories like the cloud brackets for uh, mounting on the ceilings, or you could put like separate uh, stands uh, if you wanted to have them freestanding. I sent out an email to the company, uh, had lots of emails backwards and forth, took pictures of my room, uh, they suggested different things. I got a really detailed email back about placement of the panels, how many panels, um, and talking about what, what exactly I needed to accomplish. In my room, I'm using it for recording uh, YouTube videos and recording guitar, acoustic guitars. Most of my electric guitars, I tend to go direct, so it, the room is not really a problem. And then just mixing the videos as well. I did look at some of their other um, panels and they looked amazing. The Alpha series and the Impression series are just stunning. Um, but it all came down to budget. Um, they're a bit more expensive. They're not hugely more expensive, but um, I, I really couldn't have stretched to those, which is a shame because they do look amazing and you can get them in lots of different colors, lots of different um, sort of fascias over the front. Uh, look really cool, but I ended up going with the 424 panels. So this is one of the panels. They come in three different sizes. You can get either 600 by 600 mil um, these are all 1200 by 600, but they also do a slimmer profile, uh, 300 by 1200. There's a fantastic choice of fabrics. You can get them in all different colors, lots of different types of fabric. These panels are 67 millimeters thick. Um, they've got a nice air gap at the back of it. They come with all the fixings supplied um, for hanging up. And they are really, really easy to install. It's just like hanging a picture. You put a, either a nail or a screw into the wall, uh, they're about, I think they're about four kilos per panel, so they're not um, heavy. Uh, really, really simple, no problems there. I decided to go with nine 600 by 1200 mil uh, panels. Probably one or two too many, really. Um, I've gone for seven on the walls, and initially I was gonna go two on the ceilings. Um, I've only put one up um, at the moment. I've still got another panel, so I might put it up um, above my workspace. Uh, haven't decided on that yet. Ordering the panels only took, uh, I think it was, well, it was less than two weeks um, for the panels to be made and um, delivered. Everything was delivered like really well, uh, packaged really nicely, uh, no problems there. Now the look of the panels, I think that they look fantastic. Um, I took a few photos uh, and put it just on my Facebook and Instagram and so many people were like, wow, they look amazing. Uh, I think they look great. Now loads of people I've, I've read on the internet, oh, you can make your own. It's just a bit of rock wall and a bit of, um, wood frame. Yes, you could make them, but unless you're really, really good at that kind of stuff, I don't think you get them anywhere near the standard. Uh, and also, it's gonna probably take you quite a lot of time to make uh, these panels. I think they're really, really good value for money. I think they look great. 
uh, and you, you can suit all types of rooms because you can put them in any type of fabrics. Uh, just really, really great product. I've got lots of panels all around my workspace, which really has helped with the sound of like listening to music. Um, I don't get the reflections off the side walls. Uh, it's just a lot easier to listen to. It gives me a better uh, image as well, a nice stereo image, which is not confusing. Um, and also I notice as soon as I stop the music, it's dead. It's before I put the panels up, there'd be like a cut off, like a, a reverb that um, would tail off. Uh, and that's got rid of that. Well, has it made any difference? Well, simple answer, yes, it's made a massive difference. It's completely got rid of the reverb in the room. It sounds really nice and dead in here. So recording what I'm recording now or recording guitars, it's perfect. It did exactly what I wanted it to. So I'm really happy with the result. It would have been nice to go for some bass traps in the corners um, as in this room, it is a little bit boomy, uh, but I just couldn't really stretch the budget to those. Uh, possibly in the future, maybe I'll, I'll look into getting some of those. So in conclusion, I don't think you can go wrong with these 424 panels. Uh, they're really well built. They do exactly what you expect them to do. Get rid of the room noise, get rid of the reverb. Uh, they're good value. You can have them in any fabrics that you want. They've got an amazing website, which is really easy to use. Nice people to deal with. Uh, great delivery. Uh, yeah, I couldn't recommend them highly enough. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this little review video. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video. Leave me your feedback in the comments section as well. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.